Happy Sunday, or whatever day it is for you. We are going back to where the wedding venue was because the day that we left, I put some things on the top of the car, a Timmy's tea, my phone, and my car keys. And I took the tea and I put it in the cup holder and I plugged my phone in and I sure as hell thought I grabbed the keys as well. Anyway, I started the car and I drove to the farm where the Clydesdales were from for the wedding and I drove all the way there it was only like six minutes and I shut off the car and I thought dang I can't see my keys anywhere my car was packed full of stuff from the wedding and the Airbnb that we had so who cares I'm at a farm I don't need to lock it and I just went about my business at the farm and then when I got in to leave the car wouldn't start then I find out from Porsche that if you have your key near the cockpit of the car but specifically the driver's seat you can start the car, but let's say that the key is not in the car, just near that seat, and you drive. You can drive until the car will run out of gas. You will not get a bleep that says you are separated from your key. Long story short, I think the key got lost. I don't think, I know that the key got lost. I tried to look for it and I couldn't find it. So we're backtracking. We're going to Muskoka for a mini, tiny, tiny, mini honeymoon at Darren's family's cottage and uh, we're taking a detour and going way far out of our way to find this ridiculous key. I just need to look one more time because I thought, you know, it's probably in the back. I probably threw it in another bag. It might've fallen down the side, but I couldn't search well because the car was packed full of junk. So we're gonna go back and look. And then it's like a two and a half hour drive to the beauty of autumn in Muskoka and hopefully a chip truck on the way. Because if you're in Canada and you go to Muskoka, you're either gonna stop at Weber's really famous burger stand or find a chip truck or both. But chip truck always in the fall. <laughs> I will keep you posted on the keys. Here we go. A little while later. No keys. No keys. So I don't know where they went. It's a gift to the gods at this point. But at least now we can rest easy knowing we tried our best. So we went to Tim Hortons and got their pizza. It doesn't look horrible except these two pieces have nothing on them. <laughs> You're missing. I'll show you. I'm happy with that, the way it looks. It'll be tasty enough. Tree weekend. <laughs> Two hours later. We did not go to the chip truck. And then I meant to film Weber's as we passed it for you because it was still busy. It's busy on the gloomiest of days. It's busy every day. They're open all year, aren't they? Yes. They're open in the winter as well. Yeah. Maniacs. We tried to go to the chip truck and they were closed. And then by the time we got to the next one, I had already had the Tim Hortons pizza and bar. So that's not happening. But we are approaching the cottage now. Finally, and Darren's step parents, my in laws, are coming for dinner and possibly games, and they are the most fun people on the planet. So that's going to be a lot of fun tonight. And then we have some rainy days at the cottage, which are okay because when you're up here, it's just a different vibe. All the colors are changing, they're actually falling already but I can't really show you because it's really, really, it, just, it does not look as spectacular on the camera. It's truly gloomy out here. We're gonna have some elk steak, some corn on the cob, some German potato salad, and some ruffles and hell of a good dip. Because there's a debate going on in my family of whether hell of a good dip is better than Philadelphia onion dip. There's also a chip discrepancy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> only corduroy chips as i've recently heard them called and i love that because it so matches what corduroy chips would look like ruffles have a tighter weave maybe better for dipping they don't have the same crunch they're not better for dipping because the looser wave breaks off it's such a thin chip and the salt is not up to par i really like dense things like chewy you know i mean it looks sad and gloomy but it's cool when the fog comes off the river. We're on a river up here, not a lake. And I'm gonna show you that when it's easier to see out. We're in the time of year where the sunset is basically 7 p.m. but it's backing itself up to like where it goes to 5 p.m. Anyway, it could be Sweden where I think when I was in Sweden, the sunset didn't happen until 2 a.m. When I was in Sweden, it happened like 2 in the afternoon. Weird. And in Alaska, they have Basil. for like six months or something. How does your circadian rhythm 
So we get all of the physical repair that the body needs according to circadian rhythm between roughly 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. if you're asleep, and then all of the mental and emotional repair that your brain, mind, and psyche needs roughly between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. if you're asleep. So when you have artificial light, especially from screens after sunset when your repair and sleep hormone should be kicking up, that gets suppressed and your body releases the wake up hormone, which is also our stress hormone. And so it's interesting to me to think about somewhere like Alaska with all of that sunlight and how that affects their health via their circadian rhythm. But that's for another time. If you're from there, it's different though. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs>
so pretty. Good morning. It is morning in Muskoka and it is absolutely gorgeous this morning. I wanted to talk to you for a minute about the art of doing nothing is so important. There are so many times in our lives where we're dealing with kids, right? If you have kids or you're at work, you only have so much time in the morning before work, so much time in the evening after work, or you just spend a lot of time, as we sometimes do, scrolling or listening to something on your way to work or whatever, but how much time do you actually spend in silence? Because silence is where we get that inspired action, intuitive calling. I talk about the reality and science behind manifestation, law of attraction, right? But it's really quantum physics. It's the laws of frequency and it affects us every day, all day, much like the law of gravity. We can't see it, hear it, taste it, smell it, touch it, but it's there and it's affecting us whether we realize it or not. And the idea behind this is if we match a certain frequency of whatever we want to experience in our lives, this will come about in our lives. Matching the frequency I've talked about in previous posts, but but it's really about adopting the emotional state of as if whatever you wanted was happening in present time right now in the current moment in your life. You do that, you match the frequency because the frequency is the emotional experience you'd have if you had said thing. The end product of any experience of having whatever you're wanting is an emotion. So it's not about what we think we want, it's the why. And when you match that, manifestations don't just come into our lives like hitting us in the face or falling into our laps, but they come via inspired action. These are intuitive ideas, thoughts, aha moments, things that come into your mind to do. It's a thought you wouldn't have thought before. It's something to do you wouldn't have done before things like that, but this happens in quiet moments and we often don't give ourselves those quiet moments and we don't need to come out to a beautiful place like this to do that. We can give ourselves these moments anytime, all the time. So take split second moments if that's all the time that you have, create space, drop into the present moment and in any moment of your life, you can drop into the present moment and just sit in the present moment. Our brains are always thinking of the familiar past or predictable future that doesn't even exist. The past no longer exists. The future isn't here yet. All there is is right now. So any time that you can just pull yourself into the now, it's huge and it helps so much. Do it while you're driving. Do this no matter when, no matter what you're doing. You could be doing chores, doesn't matter but can you drop into the present moment and start to feel the emotions you'd feel if whatever you're wanting was true for you in your life right then? Usually the emotions of relief and gratitude will take you pretty far. But I wanted to show you a book I brought with me. It is another one of my absolute favorite book. It has changed so many lives, including my own, and it's called The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer. He's the author of The Untethered Soul, and this book is about surrendering to the flow of life. We're constantly trying to make things happen in our lives. We're thinking of how can we make this happen? How can we make that happen? The how is never any of our business. It's really not. How comes to us via inspired action during silent, quiet moments when we're in the here and now. But anyway, this book will tell you what happens when we do surrender to life's flow. We match the frequency, even when it seems like it makes no sense. One reason we never pay attention to inspired action is because it often seems like it doesn't have anything to do with what we're really wanting to create, right? But that's what I mean about how the how is not our business. The universe will figure out the how. We don't need to do that. Match the emotion you would have. Enjoy everything. There are great teachers out there that talk about just acting on your highest excitement every day and not in an unrealistic way. I know people will think, okay, well, I guess do I just quit my job or whatnot? No, it's not about that, but just acting where possible on your highest excitement every single day and you would be shocked at what shows up. So I really recommend this read. It is a great read. I am thoroughly enjoying it and I know I'm gonna read it again once I'm done. And I hope you have an awesome day, whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. We're gonna go into town, into Gravenhurst, and we're gonna get some things for breakfast tomorrow. We're gonna get some things to eat for today. And we're just gonna have a good day out here in the Northern Paradise of Canada. I'll see ya a bit later.
This is the backdrop of school pictures in the 90s, and it's amazing. Sears family portrait. Hey, Bracebridge Hall, <laughs> which you wouldn't think there would be one. There was a spiritual shop and everything was 60% off. So we 100% took advantage of that. We got this for the Zen room. If you haven't seen the Zen room, go to another video. It's a sunroom on the back of our house where we put all of our meditation and whatnot stuff in there. I work in there. Incense, I don't have a sense of smell but Darren does. This is a scarf. It's unbelievably comfortable. This is a tapestry. It's just the ohm symbol and the chakra symbols. If you like really comfortable, like I wouldn't do sports in these. They're not quite sports bras, but they're really, really comfortable. The best, I wish you could feel this material. It's insane. And these are at every Walmart around, at least in Canada. I'm pretty sure the US would have the same, but go look for these because they are ridiculous. Best thing ever. This leaf jersey from NHL was 14 something at Walmart. So obviously Darren had to have that. We bought a pendulum. If you're not sure what that is, go look it up. This is a brooch for Darren's mama. I started this a long time ago, a lot of years ago, but I get Christmas ornaments from everywhere that I travel. This is the one from Bracebridge. I saw this and obviously if you watch my videos, you've seen my recent Monstera fiascos and I had to get this ornament. Joe Fresh sweater <laughs> that I couldn't pass up. Again, I wish you could feel through video, but you can't. This is a door stopper. We have a hedgehog one at our house that looks like this. This one, we thought, why not get it for the fall? It was five bucks. So we bought it. If you didn't know before that there is no stir almond butter in existence, no stir. You can just open it and spread it. And I don't know, but I really dislike trying to mix nut butter that's natural. Pickled garlic, amazing. I think there's spices in there too. Hot pickled garlic, can't wait. I love garlic. So for the groceries, non-organic coffee is straight chemicals to your body. It's very, very toxic to the body. And also coffee is really drying. So make sure that you get organic coffee if you're gonna have any coffee. If you're gonna go tuna, make sure it's skipjack because skipjack tuna in water, the water's better than the oil for you, but skipjack tuna has the least amount of heavy metals like mercury and such from the ocean. Sliced jalapeno for the tuna. This is an awesome oatmeal, super seeds and grains. It's my favorite oatmeal that exists. Chicken skewers. Darren grabbed a pack of turkey pepperettes, steaks, which I think are for tonight. Awesome healthy soup, organic. 
red pepper and tomato soup, bananas, organic bloobs, sourdough for breakfast, Caesar salad for one of the dinners, and this green goddess salad kit is also delicious. Comes with the dressing and everything, but green goddess dressing is amazing. So that is the Brace Bridge haul. It's so pretty. 10 bucks. 10 bucks. And your necklace. Oh, yeah. Two. I like your jersey. Made by a violin person. Oh yeah, made by a violin person. And this hoodie, it was so cold. The hoodie was absolutely necessary. We went down to look at some waterfall stuff. I will put that clip in here. And now we're just gonna relax for a while. It was quite a lot of running around. So we're just gonna sit and relax, put all the groceries away, and that's for right now. I found the best book that I have ever found in a random house, The Household Guide. 1894. There's stuff in there about everything, all kinds of sicknesses, what to do for your kids' parties, how women should keep the home, things like that. Like it's Pretty, it's pretty epic. So I'm gonna show you its suggestions for hairstyles. <laughs> that is spectacular. Ladies, we can all look like Queen Mary, wife of William III, or Queen Anne. Look at these. Look book. This book, it's so good. How to teach your children to be doctors. So, how to obtain and preserve a beautiful complexion is temperance, exercise, and cleanliness. Oh. High living and late hours will destroy the most beautiful complexion. So that is true today. Yeah. Never drink strong coffee, nor eat warm bread and butter, fat meat, etc. Cures for sunburn. How to develop the chest and bust. <laughs> Gentle rubbing. Okay, we got that. <laughs> no chafing or bruising is produced. Five minutes at a time, night and morning. Linseed oil. That's Remedy for mean. freckles. Linseed oil. How to remove freckles. Developing healthy children. A new method of healing, which is massage. They were all about holistics back then. Nervousness, opiates increase nervousness, eczema. How to cure nightmares. This book is phenomenal. I'm just practical hints for shaving, <laughs> fellas. Dudes, hair tonic if you're going bald. How to cure self-forgetfulness, shy people, disregard of others. It's just the greatest. There's answers for everything in here. How to dye all kinds of cloth. I was talking about dyeing my wedding dress. Talks about how to grow veggies. Anyway, it's fantastic. We are having real alcohol today. Cider, and we're gonna have some steak, some leftover German potato salad from yesterday, and some salad. We brought our meditation mat from home. We put it in front of the fire. So tonight's gonna be super cozy. So we're just having a snack of some chips and salsa. These tortilla chips are incredible. They're super healthy. They're grain free actually. Cassava flour, cassava starch, avocado oil, coconut flour, chia seeds, sea salt, citric acid, and lime oil. So those are super, super healthy. Corn is one of the most inflammatory substances that exists for human, especially processed corn things like tortilla chips. And regular chips are full of hydrogenated oils. So the leading cause of acne is hydrogenated oil intake from processed foods and fast foods. Your body has no way of getting rid of that other than to push it out through the skin. So I recommend something like this, avocado oil. There's no corn in there. There's no crap, no artificial sugar or ingredients anyway and then we're having cholula salsa which is delicious this cholula salsa is cleanse friendly no artificial anything no sugar this 
is awesome. Do you have plates like the cool ones in the store? Oh, right. Everything mm, we were looking at. That steak looks amazing. Dinner is served. Oh, yeah. German potato salad. Some steak, we just share a big one. Some sourdough, some Caesar, some simplicity. By the way, you can get all kinds of versions of these cards. These are from Seek Discomfort, who I love. It's a YouTube channel. You should check them out. There's no sponsorship or connection there. No collab going on. They're amazing. They're conversation cards. And Darren and I have used these from the beginning of our relationship. Which culture has surprised you the most as you have gotten older? When you are in conflict, what are some tools that have helped you approach it? And so even just getting to know each other and now like we're married but we still really love using these they're great highly recommend good morning it's pretty with the little droplets mm -hmm. Good morning. It is Tuesday. The new Joe Fresh sweater. It's incredibly comfortable. We're gonna have tuna on this lovely bakery bread we bought and soup. One of my mother's-in-law, one of, I have multiple. Darren and I have five sets of parents between the two of us. Brought us carrot and apple soup. So we're gonna have that. These freezer baggies, by the way, are reusable, hard plastic, way flatter for storage. I'm gonna try them because that's brilliant. So we're gonna eat that and some tuna, tuna salad on a lovely bakery bread. This morning we did a lovely partner stretching and we did massage last night, but we did a partner stretching, which is absolutely beautiful. If you have someone, it doesn't have to be a spouse, but anybody that is willing to stretch with you, you can, it really feels good because you can get deeper you could also look up couples Thai massage because that's glorious too but the stretching is so lovely I'm gonna put that clip in right now What a beautiful way to start the day. Anyway, I'm gonna start preparing lunch. Tuna salad with sliced jalapeno, sliced celery, and dill pickle. Some tomato. Darren went nuts on this soup and put tons of stuff in. Flava Master. Yum, highly recommend adding all of that stuff to your tuna salad. It's so good. Nobody wants a boring tuna. What was that commercial? Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. This thing, this tuna looks boring. Stop having a boring tuna. Stop having a boring life. Look at this. You're going to have an exciting life now. Didn't he go to jail? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he might have gone to jail. But he made unboring tuna. Maybe he spiced up jail. 
and you spiced up chopping. <laughs> The sun is out and we're not caring right now. Instead, we were looking for a movie. I'm just giving you guys some nostalgia because I know how much I enjoy nostalgia, but we did not end up picking a VHS. Look at all the Bruce Lees. This is the movie we selected, Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston. I have not ever seen this, but I'm Excellent. looking forward to it. Hell of a pickle, hell of an onion, super bad for us ruffles. Sitting atop these lovely spiritual books. Gonna be amazing. Even though it is absolutely beautiful out. We will get out there at some point. We were out there. Good evening. It is our final evening here. It's been amazing. I saw this sweater yesterday. It's technically pajamas. It was in the pajama section of Joe Fresh at the independent grocery store. <laughs> And I fell in love with it, but I didn't let myself buy it. So sitting here all day today thinking about this. And finally, I just say to Darren, you know, I really wish that I had bought that shirt. And he says, okay, let's go. So we bought it. Let me show you this. It's amazing. Look how baggy this is. You could have some off the shoulder action. It's the best sweater I have ever had. It's just brilliant. So we are cozying up. We're not even hungry. We ended up having way too many chips. It's been a treat being here. So we're gonna relax. We're gonna have, when we do get hungry, some chicken breast, some green goddess salad, and possibly sweet potato, although we might genuinely be far too full for such things. So anywho, okay. We're back. <laughs> I just filmed all of this dinner and it wasn't recording, but I know it's recording now. We are having this green goddess salad. Everything has been poured on top that comes in the kit. It hasn't been mixed yet, so you can't really see. It just looks like a ton of crumbs. This is what it is, Taylor Farms Green Goddess Chopped Kit. So it comes with a vegetable blend, vegan butter crouton crumbles, green goddess seasoning, with plant-based green goddess dressing. We had kebabs from the grocery store, pre-made kebabs, and it is getting on in time. It's quarter after seven, and we don't wanna barbecue them. So we found a cast iron skillet, and that's what we'll be using. And I can't wait. It's gonna be delicious. Even though it's not mixed, it looks pretty tasty. This is the so far Ooh, it looks so good here's our chicken and veggies salad it looks so good yum mm. the vintage plates really just make it good morning it is wednesday morning so we have to go home today sad but excited to see that bubs. I miss her when we're gone. Darren brought the frother without the bottom plug piece, so we can't froth. And if you've seen my other videos and posts, I froth at home. My milk, unsweetened vanilla flavored almond milk with organic coffee and chocolate collagen from Organica. It's the best, best. If you froth it up with some milk, it is delicious in coffee. If you want to try anything from Organica, you can use Kelly 20. I put the information in the description, but Kelly 20 is the discount code anyway from their website. They finally gave me one because I am obsessed with their stuff. So we also bought beans to have beans on toast. That's not something I normally eat at home. Everything that we ate was not something I normally eat at home. <laughs> not everything. Last night's dinner was fairly healthy and the steak dinner was pretty good. But I feel like I've had a couple treat days in a row, which is exactly what was intended. But I am excited to go home and clean up now and just feel as good as I normally do. So <laughs> that is the goal. But we're gonna have a nice coffee, have some breakfast. It is really gloomy today. So it's a good day to go home anyway. Since the frother is missing, Darren is a sweetheart. And the first night he took out all of the biggest mugs for me to choose from. <laughs> and is heating the milk and the collagen together. And we found at Walmart the hand frother. It's awesome. So if you don't get the kind of frother that I, no <laughs> no, that I normally use, you can buy this little handy hand frother and it works, works beautifully. Look how delicious this looks. 
honestly, frothed coffee is everything. And collagen is really good. Bovine collagen, which is what that one was, is good for everything on the inside of your body. Muscles, joints, tendons, bones, ligaments, organs, gut health. And we're still getting through this. We're still getting through it. Highly recommend. It's amazing. This particular meal on this particular plate is a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. Beans on toast. Mm. I came in here to use the mirror and I saw this on the dresser. This is my dad's book that he wrote about growing up in a small town. And I know that, you know, it might seem that I'm biased, but honestly, regardless of him being my dad, this is such a fun, fun book. It's one of the most fun books I've ever read, like I say, even if I didn't know him. <laughs> um, and I've seen it all over the shops in Dundas and, and on Amazon, but seeing it here was really neat because I certainly didn't bring it. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to share that. I highly recommend. It's such a good read. It comes in audio as well. I've linked it below. But yeah, the Dundas Chronicles. I didn't grow up in the 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, as I'm sure many people watching my channel also didn't. But even so, and especially if you did grow up either in a small town or in those time periods, it's such a fun it's fun, fun, fun read. Check that out. I miss the fact that the world was like that. And I wish the world was still like that. Just that small town charm vibes. Anyway, I'm supposed to be stripping the bed because we got to go. We did it. <laughs> 10 minutes behind. 10 minutes behind. That's fine. All we have to do is work when we get home. So it's all good. <laughs> we can be behind a lot for that. <laughs> Gloomy. show you this burger place when I was younger you did not drive up north without stopping at Weber's because it's quintessentially part of going up north but since Darren I guess I just never came that often it was always once in a while and it was a special time to where you should stop there because you're not going to be able to again for a long time and it just made it like a traditional thing to do since Darren we come up often enough that it doesn't matter <laughs> I heard long time ago that they used to do 800 hamburgers an hour. 800 hamburgers an hour? Yeah. They have a line of cheese. I heard that the guy who was the OG burger flipper there worked there until he was 80 something and just retired like somewhat recently. The bridge that they put over the highway, people used to run across the highway because the burgers were so good, but the bridge Apparently bought it from a CN Tower or the City of Toronto. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't so know. It used that. to be the bridge that connected Front Street to the down where the CN Tower was. And oh. they now replace it with a really like big bridge, like more concrete permanent structure. Where the one that's here, um, I guess they like didn't want people dying to get their burgers. Frogger. <laughs> dying in a different way, like I'm dying to get a burger. It is funny to picture people trying to dodge highways to get this burger. <laughs> but that's how epic this place is. But no, that's really interesting. I really didn't know that. I don't know if it's the true rules or what actually happened, but that was, that was what I heard. There's also a really epic candy shop right near Weber's that is pretty neat. If you're ever going to go to Weber's, you should stop at the candy shop as well. And it's not necessarily because you're going to buy candy, but it's got all that old school stuff. I don't know how to describe it. And it, yeah, stuff that you're not going to find. Bridge. There's the bridge from Toronto. It's funny because on the camera, I really can't see it. But in real life, I can see it. And it's just, oh, it's closed, but I'll go and see it over there in the chat. So the way it works is it's a small shack, so there's not much room in there. So the lineup is outside, and every time staff 
I'll run to the end of the line or to wherever the line last took an order. They take the order and run up to the cashier, punch it all in, and then run back out to you, find you, you pay. And by the time you get to the front, you don't have to pay or do anything. They just make your burgers. You get whatever you want on it. I think it's super simple. It's like ketchup, a mustard, Tomato. Oh, they don't even have lettuce. They have tomato and onion. Yeah, there's no lettuce. <laughs> because if you add lettuce and jalapenos and whatever, the chip, you're not going to be able to like, get any kind of burgers in an hour. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So that's why it's you only cheap burgers. why there's no tea or fries and gravy. It's just fries. And I, I think they got rid of onion rings because they're like, nope, too slow. I didn't even know they had onion rings ever. Yeah, they used to way back then. But they have veggie burgers, and I think they, but like, why would you get that? Because that's just going to be a frozen veggie burger. I think they also, you can buy Weber's burgers in the grocery store frozen, but that's kind of pointless as well because it's how they cook them that makes it the epic thing that it is because they use charcoal, which is not normally seen around anymore, but charcoal just gives a very awesome, distinct flavor to the burgers. It's yeah. like a walking advertisement. I wish I was sponsored by Weber's. <laughs> Weber's and Organica. <laughs> Organica, so good. I actually used Organica for years and years and years before they ever gave me a discount code. If you're at Weber's, use discount code Kelly20. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. It's not going to work. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking if I had ever put Weber's on a video before, and I really don't think that I did, but I will okay. one day. Next summer. I think they are open all year, but you're not going to want to stand out there. Like it's, I don't know. I think just the most touristy of tourists would go there in the dead of winter or people that just don't care if it's cold out. I care if it's cold out. Anyway, Weber's. Some time later. We are at the gas station. Look at this. This is a windshield washer fluid pump filler. You can pay with your card and fill up your windshield washer fluid. And in Canada, you really want minus 40 windshield washer fluid. It's got bug repellent, water repellent. That's, I don't know, that's very cool. Anyways, we have about an hour to go. We're really two and a half hours-ish away from home at the cottage. Just heard from Bubs's nanny, who's also my bestie Liz, but I cannot wait to go home and see her. But anyway, off to home we go. I'm going to close out now. It was such a delight to bring you guys along with us for our little honeymoon getaway in Muskoka, Canada. So until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun doing whatever you do on your little holidays. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye guys.